Carol Azarovitz is the tutor doctor. Uh, thank you for being with us. You're the education manager. I would have to guess you are a parent's heroine right now. I, I would like to think so. <laughs> I'm also a parent, so I'm right there in the trenches with our parents. What we do, understand exactly what they're going through. Yeah, so how old are your kids, uh, Carol? Uh, they're, it, well, 13, he just turned 13. 13, 15, and 17. So they're in eighth, 10th, and 12th grade. And are they all remote right now? As of this week, we went back. We are on our third schedule for the school year. So yes. ask someone, you work with the tutor doctor, but you're also going through this with your own kids. Every day. What has it been like for you on both sides of the coin? Well, it, it is very frustrating for the students. Uh, it, it's hard on both sides. Like I said, our school district alone, we're on our third schedule and it's only it's not even thanksgiving yet or it's almost thanksgiving uh the kids they're lost and depending on the age group you know minor teenagers they're frustrated because they kind of understand more what's going on our littles they're just lost you know they're in school they're not in school they're back and forth so we do talk to a lot of families uh right now we're talking to a lot of families whose kids just simply gave up the virtual platform is not as uh, great as we were hoping it would be. Our teachers are doing a phenomenal job and everybody's doing the best they can. And we love our teachers, but the virtual platform is not the same as being in a classroom with your peers and your teacher. And kids are starting to just give up. And it, it's kind of sad to see, but we're right there to help them along the way. So when, do, uh, when should a parent know when to bring in someone such as yourself or someone from the tutor doctor? Well, they have to have realistic conversations with their kids and let their kids be open and honest. Uh, you know, we're all trying to be positive for our kids and positivity is a good thing right now because our students are a little bit lost and Positivity helps the mental health, it helps the situation. But with that, please let the students be open and honest with their feelings with their parents. So if you start to see assignments not being turned in, if you're starting to see um, their attitudes dipping and their negativity coming out, please call professional right away. It is better for us to get in front of the ball now with COVID slide than it is to play catch up after the fact. You know, and remember, you know, schools have been shut down since March. So these kids are dealing with COVID slide of lost material from March to June. Then our normal summer slide that we see every year, which is standard. And now they're bouncing back and forth between virtual and in-person school. So all of these combinations are just brewing for rough waters for these kids. You know, at Tutor Doctor, we have a few a few uh, platforms that are unique just to us. And we can help those teenagers in the tweens, specifically the tweens and the teens, help stay on track. We have our um, X-Skills, which is the academic game plan. We'll show you the book. It is our planner on steroids. I don't know if you can see that with my my background there, it was looking a little sketchy, but uh, what, what we do is when we come in for our tutoring session, our tutors then become accountability partners for the first 10 or 15 minutes of that session where we go and we teach our students how to break down their tasks in the alpha and beta, how to structure, how to prioritize and organize. And along the way, we're giving them very important study tips long-term strategy tips and test taking tips and we're seeing the reduction of test and study anxiety right now we are putting a lot of students on the x skills because they're so lost with the virtual platform and they're just throwing in the towel we don't want them to do that we want them to to try their very very best mm. And knowing that, are there certain subjects that the kids are struggling with more now 
than no. uh, others or is it it's, every it's across the board it really is across the board our littles what we've found very helpful for them is that our tutors will log in so we can meet in person or virtually which is nice uh, everybody's kind of at their own different place with this COVID. Some people do not want a tutor in their home. Other people don't mind it. Uh, some of our tutors won't go to the home yet. Some will, and we are completely compliant with the governor's executive orders. So we are safe when we go into the home, but if the family wants virtual, we can absolutely do virtual as well. And for our littles, what we find is that they can log on for 30 minutes a day, maybe four days a week with their tutor and their tutor can just check in on them. Did you do your homework? Do you have any questions? And this really allows mom and dad to become mom and dad again and not a substitute teacher. For our more advanced kids, middle school is across the board. It just seems like it's all subjects, all four of the core subjects need a little attention. And for our our high schoolers, it could be anything from geometry to calculus to physics. It's it's everything. Wow. And how are you and your staff doing right now? Do you have enough employees to be able to meet the needs of um, the public right now? Well, we're always looking for good talent. Uh, we are always, always interested in talking to folks that would like to consider tutoring. And they're welcome. Uh, I have a um, contact information at the end of this interview that we can show you that they can reach out and contact us with the resume and we will be our recruiter will be in contact. Uh, right now we're doing okay staffing wise. Our, our tutors are rolling up their sleeves and they're getting in there and they're loving it. But we always would like more talent. What do you look for in a tutor? Do they have to have been a former teacher at all? Uh, we do. We have current teachers on our staff. We have college uh, juniors and seniors with their transcripts, honor roll students. We have hired professionals that want to pass on their knowledge to the next generation. What we look for in a tutor is, first of all, commitment and passion. They have to love kids and they have to love helping educate kids. They have to be a master in their subject knowledge, whether it is math, English, science, whatever it is, they have to prove to us that they are mastered the level. We are also in now starting to look for more uh, test coaches. So as the ACT and the SAT become a reality for us again, because it was shut down for a little while, uh, we couldn't do tests except for virtual, as well as the colleges kind of stopped for one year accepting the the tests most colleges did anyway now the sat and the act are becoming a reality again and our test platform is so dynamic again it's that one-to-one -one tutoring the tutor doctor is known for worldwide but it also is like a multi-step enriched robust system so i am looking for test coaches and there's a, quite a process to become a test coach, but it's very worthwhile. Wow, and I'm just thinking right now what some of these parents are going through and you're needed and your staff members are so needed right now more than ever. With that, how does it work? Do they sign a contract with you or is it hourly? Um, can parents kind of test one um, tutor over another? Well, uh, my all of our tutors are employees, so we hire them. Uh, it is an hourly job, so they get paid an hourly rate. And as for the parents testing the waters, absolutely. So how the process works is, you know, we'll meet with the families. Right now, we'll either do it um, on the, excuse me one second, sorry, the phone just went off. Okay, uh, we'll meet either on a call like this, like a Zoom meeting or over the phone. We'll get to know the family and their situation. Once they enroll, we will hand match a tutor to them. So we're not just gonna divvy out the next tutor that comes into line. We actually go through the list, the recruiter and I, and we will pick out the best person we think for that student. 
Now, sometimes when they meet, the chemistry isn't there. We do our very best. However, that's totally fine. All the parents have to do is contact the office and say, you know, it didn't really work out with so-and-so. Could we try a different tutor? And we will absolutely rematch that enrollment for them. The magic wand for us is that one-to-one -one tutoring experience and we have to get it right, the tutor and the student together. That's, mm. the, that's what makes this work so beautifully. Well, quickly, um, Carol, before we let you go, how can people contact you and your team? Uh, let me try to share my screen real quick. Again, I'm <laughs> not the best at Zoom and I have a sheet for you. Um, Do you have a phone number maybe? Yeah, it's uh, right here. Can you, I don't know if you can, can you see that? There it's, we go. Okay, it's 1-800-4-TUTORS. Our local line is the 248 number right there and they can find us on www.tutordoctor.com. Our, this office is Orion slash, or Orion dash Bloomfield. We are also on Facebook. We have a Facebook support group for parents who, may not be ready for tutoring, but just need to know that they're not out there alone. They are always welcome to join our Facebook help group right there. And you can also find us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Okay, great. Thank you so much, uh, Carol, for being with us here on the Oakland County Megacast.